The face app challenge is all fun and games, but there's a possibility that it's stealing your photos and not for a good cause. It looks like the Asus ROG Phone 2 will have monstrous specifications and a very impressive display. And the stories of how Apple components get leaked sound clearly like something out of a Hollywood movie. I'm Jaime Rivera and uh, happy Emoji Day, which speaks to what 2019 is like more than anything. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals after Prime Day, and this is a really irresistible one. If you're in the market for a Samsung Galaxy, right now Best Buy has the Galaxy S10e, which is probably my favorite one, $400 off, and I am not joking. It's a $350 price tag for the phone, but there's a catch. It has to be on either AT&T or Sprint. Obviously, there are activation fees that are around 40 bucks, but still, my God, that deal is crazy, and that is such a good phone. You can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about Instagram as another thing that speaks to 2019 is the fact that a lot of people are on it and uh, well, there's obviously some hints of depression for people that uh, don't get the amount of likes that others do and stuff like that and the company wants to try something new. Instagram started testing how the market would behave when removing the option to see the amount of likes that a post gets and decrease social pressure. It started back in Canada in May and now it's expanding to Australia, Brazil, Ireland, Italy, Japan, and New Zealand. They're also rolling out a warning when a comment may be harmful and ask you if you want it deleted. You know what? I actually like this approach because uh, truly, my God, some commenters are crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see if that ends up extending or not because obviously there's the catch that uh, a lot of people want to know how many likes have photo has in order to see if it's important or not. Now let's talk about Apple and leaks. Obviously, we get leaks all the time. We cover them, and Apple is famous. Ever since the iPhone 4, things have gone crazy, particularly because of the, how the company handled them, and with the iPhone 5C, they only got more complicated. As a result, Apple got a new product security team to supervise their most sensitive suppliers in China. The security team, which are from the US military, have found many hiding places for components over the years, including dirty mop water, belt buckles, tissue boxes, bras, and the most notorious one, they started digging a tunnel under heavy machinery and hid components there. So yeah, for those of you wondering how all these components get leaked and how information emerges and where the information comes from, yeah, this looks like the Shawshank Redemption. And for those of you that don't know what that movie is, you should totally watch it. And you know what? Even if we covered yesterday how certain specifications for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 might be disappointing, it seems that that won't all be the case. See, the company has started mass production of their new 10 nanometer LPDDR5 12 gigabyte mobile DRAM chips ahead of the Note 10's launch. They're aimed for premium flagships and built optimized for 5G and AI applications. It is approximately 1.3 times faster than the previous LPDDR4X with a rate of 5,500 megabits per second. Obviously, we can't guarantee that it's coming to the Note 10, but usually uh, Samsung announces things and then they come in their next product and we know what their next product is. Now let's talk about the Asus ROG Phone 2. You know, the first one didn't really impress me, but the second one, I mean, we've been covering leaks for the past two days. Now it's being certified by Tina and we get more information. First of all, the 120 Hertz display will be a 6.59 inch AMOLED panel. Yes, I said AMOLED. And it packs a 5,800 milliamp hour battery, obviously to power this OLED, all with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus. And yes, July 23rd is just around the corner, which has me wondering, are we really getting that Note 10 without that processor and the ROG phone with it. That's so weird. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Face app. Yes, right now it's gone completely viral. Everybody's doing it. You see photos of people turning old, which is funny because you usually see more men doing it than women, which says a lot. But uh, you might want to think twice before using it. See, a Senate leader has already asked the FTC and the FBI to investigate the Russian app Yes, because it is a Russian app, as you're giving them a picture of you and you're also giving them access to your camera roll. Concerns include the fact that the application may steal your camera roll or the images you upload and sell them as stock photos or be used for ads in Russia. So far, several researchers have looked into the matter, but no evidence has been found on the company practicing this but it's very easy to do so, sadly, so beware. The company actually claims that they keep your photo for 48 hours and then delete it, but there's obviously no way to confirm this. So in today's question, let us know. I mean, obviously the virality of this is cool and everything, 
But what do you think about these services? Because obviously we used the service for this thumbnail just to make it funny. But the thing about it is I was reluctant to give it a try because it's not the first time that I've seen companies use these filters and uh, we're not exactly sure what they do with the photos. And then we just spent like the last couple of hours talking about cases and everything. And then they appear in my Amazon search feed because I have an echo right there. So my God, it's creepy times. Let us know what you do or how you see this in the comments down below. Obviously, I will admit I'm skeptical and guys, I do this for a living. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And you can follow me on my personal handles as uh, I can show you what I do with phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.